Instead of denying celebrities the right to speak publicly about politics or issues of concern because of their fame, allowing them to spread positive ideas is important for national dialogue. LeBron James, Chris Paul, and Naomi Osaka. What do all of those players have in common? Two basketball players and a tennis player. Besides being big-time superstars, they all have effectively used their respective platforms to speak up about social issues that they find important. 2020 has been the year of the unpredictable. We have lost too many innocent lives to some form of racial violence. The COVID-19 pandemic, as we all know, has only made things worse. After the initial shutdown in the spring, the NBA restarted in June. There was a focus about how well athletes use their platforms to speak up about social issues that tor- about those issues that tormented our country. Because these big name athletes started speaking up for people who didn't have a voice, it raised some awareness about what was going on in the world. Even though celebrities are not politicians, they should still use their platforms to bring awareness to social issues like racial violence, the environment, gender equality. They will have a better chance at sparking change, at sparking and fostering change because athletes are unable are able to inspire and motivate individuals that many other people aren't. It was a warm summer evening in Lunenburg, Massachusetts. Because of COVID, I had to reduce how many people I usually hang out with. Also, my mom has some strict rules about who she wants coming in the house. So I asked if I could have two of my closest friends over to watch some of the NBA games that were on that night. Thankfully, she said yes. But... The one catch was, we had to sit outside. So I found a TV in a spare room that nobody was using and brought it outside. It was pregame, like we normally do. We're all on our phones, not paying attention. Right before tip-off, Meek Mill came on the screen with an important message about racial justice. At that very moment, me and my friends look up, and gave our undivided attention. The point of Meek's message was that this NBA restart was going to be more than just about basketball. It would be about how we need to continue to work to get the change that this country desperately needs. That if we stay strong, we can get through these tough times together. The motto that the NBA used was more than a game. It can be applied to many of the social issues that are going on today. Most celebrities have pretty large fan bases all over the world. Because of that, they will have an easier time reaching and getting their point across. Not only that, It will also spread through different platforms, which will then reach more people. Celebrities are proven to persuade the way that people think, exemplified by an immediate 4% boost in sales when a major celebrity joins a brand for an endorsement. So, say if one celebrity, one big celebrity like LeBron, started supporting a new product, word would get out and more people would start using the product. Another example of this is the Black Lives Matter movement. Countless celebrities and athletes posted about racial justice and how we as a country still have a long way to go before these problems are solved. Because of those celebrities, the movement reached a wider audience and made more people realize what was happening sparking a trend and fueling a movement. Celebrities are experiencing the same thing that regular people like you and me are experiencing. 
just because they are well known doesn't mean that they don't go through the same real life problems. Many people think that celebrities get so wrapped up in their own lives that they don't have time to deal with what's going on outside of their lives. That, by the way, is totally not true. Many celebrities and athletes have voiced the need for change, especially in the past year. Whether it's support for racial justice, for Breonna Taylor, voting in the upcoming election, countless celebrities took to social media and public speaking in order to deliver a message that relates to everybody. For example, superstar Taylor Swift hasn't been known to speak out about politics. In fact, she's more known for avoiding it. But this year wasn't like any other year. With everything that was going on, she knew that if we wanted actual change, it would have to start with voting in the election. When Taylor Swift finally broke her silence about politics, she raised around 65,000 new registered voters in the first 24 hours. That may not seem like a crazy number, but... In this case, every vote matters. Celebrity, most celebrities don't, have, don't want to look bad in front of the general public. That includes saying the right things to and in front of the media. If they say, if they say something potentially controversial, it will be all over the news. You mostly see this with athletes when they speak to the media. A good example of this is what Colin Kaepernick did in 2016. A promising young quarterback was drafted in the first round by the San Francisco 49ers. In 2016, he began expressing his concerns about police, about police brutality and racial justice by kneeling for the national anthem, expressing his inability to support this, his country in the current state it was in. Many people thought he was disrespecting the American flag, but the real message he was trying to get across is that we need to get rid of systemic racism because it has gone on long enough. Collins' actions during the national anthem got a lot of attention from the media and even from presidential candidate Donald Trump. After some words said by Trump on social media, Colin responded, he always says, make America great again. Well, America has never been great for people of color. That's something that needs to be addressed. Let's make America great for the first time. Colin is right, especially now more than ever. He is trying to point out something that needs to be changed in this country, and he got nothing but hate for it. If you are wondering what happened to his NFL career, he doesn't have a team, isn't under contract with anybody because of his actions. Many teams have kneeled during the national anthem, and they will continue to do so. To wrap up, I would like to say that I personally know that many people have different beliefs, different values. And you don't have to agree with everything you see, hear, watch on social media. But I do want you to keep an open mind about everything that's going on. Half of the battle is acknowledging the other side of the story. I think it's very important for, for celebrities, not only athletes, to speak out. Because they have the power to foster change and in this country and world you need some power to create some real change uh i hope i have changed some of your minds about why they should speak out i want to leave you by showing an instagram post this was right after the nba restart uh it was post game. LeBron had just LeBron and the LA Lakers had just played. 
and he's getting an interview, and I want to show you his interview. Better start to the restart, but as, uh, as you have talked so much about uh, what is going on around the world, did you get a sense tonight that this game was indeed bigger than basketball? Absolutely. Um, the game of basketball has always been bigger than just the ball and rebound. Take guys on the floor for any reason. It's an opportunity to use the platform and be able to spread a lot of positive, a lot of love throughout the coast, uh, throughout the course of the whole world. We've got to say what's going on in society right now, and we're using this NBA platform as the players, as the coaches, as organizations to continue to stand strong on that. Um, so this is a good start, man. Uh, this is a good start tonight. It's great to have the NBA back, and I hope our fans um, are, are proud of us tonight. So many around the NBA have talked about what a special day it was. Earlier today, the funeral for John Lewis, you mentioned how this is not a movement. How much progress do you think has been made with what the NBA and everyone around the NBA has done? Um, there's been progress. Um, but in the past, when we've seen progress, we've let our um, go off the gas a little bit. Uh, we, can't, we can't do that. Um, you know, we want to continue to uh, keep our foot on the gas, continue to push forward, uh, you know, continue to spread love throughout America. Dealing with a lot of racism, uh, a lot of social injustice, a lot of police brutality, um, not only in my neighborhoods, um, not only with black people, but with people of color. And, and it's, um, it's something that we want to continue to have people's ears open to. And we have ears now, but we cannot stop um, where I'm from the gas, what we've been doing over the last few months. In the African-American 